The basic assumption that I work with is what I call the embrace of the three invisible connectors. The three invisible connectors that bring a couple closer to each other instead of pulling them apart. The first one is the relational space. When a couple is not aware that there is a relational space between them, they will pollute it automatically. And when that space is polluted, it becomes dangerous and the couple will react to the pollution, react to the danger and not be in their essence with each other. The second invisible connector is a bridge. It's the bridge between the two worlds, each one in the couple is a rich, multi-layered, complex world, completely different than the world of their partner. The culture is different, the language is different, the rhythm is different. And so crossing the bridge to learn the language of the partner is one of the invisible connectors. It is as if the couple learns to become bilingual. And finally, the third invisible connector is the encounter. A magical place in which each person feels profoundly connected to the other one, with all the boundaries around them dissolving, and not only feeling at one with each other, but feeling at one with everything. Bring your chairs really close. Even closer, Josiane, that you can be in what I call the uncomfortable proximity. Oh, yeah. Give each other your hands because there is inside of your hands communication, nonverbal communication. It's like a code, like a secret code. This code has been with you now for 28 years. Mm. Now, we are born to look at our loved ones at 18 inches. We are masters of the facial landscape when we're babies and then we lose that capacity because we don't look so close anymore. Mm -hmm. During the visit, you really want to see the mm -hmm. face. Take a look at each other. That's 18 inches. Take a moment to look. Take a moment just to look right now and breathe. So there is the relational space that both people share. There is the bridge between the worlds and there is the encounter essence to essence or what I often like to call it the encounter of the souls. I introduce couples to those three invisible connectors so that they can maybe for the first time understand how they've polluted the space together and how they can cleanse the space together. How they can visit each other's worlds over the bridge and how they can begin to create the conditions for a real encounter, a real meeting, essence to essence.